in this video we will learn how to create a simple web application hotel room booking system using mvc jquery and sql server before we are going to start i would like to ask you a favor if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe let's start first we are going to create a database open the sql server right click on database create a new database here that is a hotel DP. Click on OK. Now first I'm going to create the schema. Right click on new schema. Some master data for the master data. So create the DBO. Now one more thing is that going to add the schema that is for booking or yeah booking or you can write like hotel dbo click on ok that two schema has been created now first i'm going to add the some master so for master record that i'm going to add first of all i'm going to add the room type so room type id or simple write room type ID in integer make a primary key then right click set primary key then room type that will be the worker make it 50 now table name will be room types and the schema will be the master because it's the master data then identity column will be the room type id save it now add some dummy data room type will be the single second one is the double then so duplex that's one now another one i'm going to add that status that will be the booking status create one more table so write the booking status id it will be the integer make this one is a primary key then booking status make a marker 50 now give the table name booking status and the schema will be the master and an it column will be the booking status added. Now save it. Now add some dummy data, refresh. Then here you can see the booking status. Click, click on edit. Now here you can write like a reserve free and occupied. Okay. Now next one going to add the table. Uh, this for room. So here that will be the room ID, this one will be the auto number, make this one is a primary key, then second one is the room number, then make a where care, 5, then uh, room image, that also and where care. 550 because here I'm going to give the path only okay then room price this one will be the decimal then then status ID that is a booking status ID okay it will be the integer okay then another one is the room type ID the integer then room capacity after that room description room description make an here 550 then ejective will come a bit by default make it as a true 
now the table it will be the rooms and that is schema will be your hotel and identity column will be the room id now save it this one now another one is that create one more table now this one is for that booking so i'm going to write like a booking id so it will be that right click set the key booking id so now i'm going to write like a customer name okay first is that customer name second is the booking booking from it will be the date booking to it also date so room id or you can say that assign room id it will be the integer number of members that will be the end and customer address also to require that also and where care here I am going to write 550 this one should be up okay that's all now save that one so it will be the bookings room bookings and the schema will be your hotel and identity column will be the booking id if it will be required in the future so we can add more columns for now i have added that uh, that hotel rooms and room bookings and the, this one is that master data okay. for here in the bookings here we can write like a total amount also we can write so how many days we to multiply with that rooms so it will be the your decimal that is a decimal the total amount and decimal now one more table i'm going to add that is, a, that is for payment so i'm going to write like a payment id this one will be the integer make this one primary key here i'm going to write like a booking id it will be the integer the payment type payment type id it will be the integer then payment amount it will be the decimal 18 this one if it's your future i'm going to add the is active this will be the bit but every time this one will be the default default will be true so just add the one now save that so here i'm going to write the table name will be the payments payments schema will be that your hotel and identity column will be the payment id just save it and one more master table need to add that is your payment type id payment type id it will be the integer then payment type with this one will be the worker a payment type id will be the primary good properties here we can write like a payment types and uh, the schema will be master because it's, this one is a master data identity column is a payment type id just save now add some dummy data for the payment this one will be the cash credit credit card or debit card or online transaction okay this all that is done that all those tables here you can see make a refresh what to the database diagram new diagram yes and if you will add all those table you can see here 
this one is a booking structure so this all table is here room room bookings this is called payment type this one this all table around six tables is here the save i keep the name okay okay the table has been done 